Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. I'll discuss a very simple trick uh, how to solve question 1.1. Uh, this is the question. We have to express these in the form of a Cartesian coordinates. And a student had problem using calculator to find these values. So first of all, we know that uh, the, this can be converted into Cartesian form by using Euler's formula, which is E j phi can be written as cos phi plus j sine phi. And if something is multiplied with it, like R, then R will multiply with both cosine and sine. Now this is called the polar form, and uh, this one is a rectangular form or, or Cartesian form. So that is what we have to write in Cartesian form. Okay, so this one, uh, half ej pi can be written as half cos pi plus j sine phi, pi. And when we solve this with the calculator, we'll get value of cos pi as minus 1, and we'll get value of sine pi as 0. And the final answer will be negative half. Now the problem student had was how to get cos pi or write cos pi in calculator and then calculate it. So let's see. This is our calculator. We have cleared everything. And uh, the first thing we'll do is we'll shift and mode. And here you can see there are a couple of options. Three is for degree. So if you are calculating for cos 60 or cos 30, then you should put the calculator in degree mode. Since we are calculating in radians, pi is radians, therefore we'll select the option 4. So radians and now cos pi. So this is cos. Pi is here, so we'll press shift pi bracket close equal sign so minus 1. So this is cos pi can be written as minus 1. Similarly, uh, sine pi sine shift pi bracket close is equal to 0. So that is how you solve, you will be solving all these questions by putting your calculator in the radian mode. But before you switch off your calculator, don't forget to go back to the normal mode or the line mode too. So you don't have problem if you are solving degree question or any other question. So we are in mode two, and then you can now close the calculator. So I hope this has been helpful to you.